Well, I will bear full responsibility. Otherwise, well, there is no otherwise. What are you two bickering about? Your Majesty, what a welcome sight to see you return. Has a problem arisen in my absence? Ah, no, no, just a trifling matter, really. Actually, we do have a bit of a problem on our hands, Your Majesty. Hey, mind you... We have to report the facts as they are. How much longer are you going to leave this hanging, eh? <sighs> What's the problem? A couple of days ago, we had a small run-in with our Agnian opposites. Isol took care of them, but things got out of hand a little bit. Out of hand, nothing. They insulted Her Majesty's honor. I'm spitting feathers. But we'd no reason to fight. You were the one who earned their ire. Did they come to any harm? You hurt them. I only intended to scare them, but then they resisted. So you sought to defeat them? No! Nothing of the sort! They had no flame clocks, so I would never... The presence of a flame clock is not what instigates a battle. The glimmerings of war are always there, within us. I imagine discovering that fact must have come as quite a shock to you. Circumstances aside, if you've incited their wrath, then I assume we haven't heard the end of this. As you said, they have since begun to rally together in opposition. I am ashamed. Truly, now that this has come to a head, I cannot but take full responsibility. I will thwart the objective, even if it should cost me my life. You shall not. Do not speak of throwing your life away so lightly. I've already lost so many of my friends. I could not bear to lose another. Your Majesty. I told you, did I not? You are my hope. I will speak to the Agnian Chief Retainer personally about the matter. In the meantime, cool your head. <sighs> Any more unfinished business that I should know about? A couple of house calls to make, Your Majesty. They want you at Colony 9 and the city. Colony 9? So Zeon, then? Indeed. They've asked for some urgent backup following the recent Origin attack. And the other request is from Monica. Wants you to give her people a pep talk. The descendants of Uroboros. I've caused such grief for them. And for an unfathomably long time. But now they get to speak to their real queen. I'm sure they'll be overjoyed. Yes. Perhaps. Speaking face to face with another. There's nothing quite like it. Um, Melia? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to be taking up some more of your time. <laughs> now you can cut that out. Agnes or Kevus sold your queen. What difference does it make? The future is to be created by each and every person in the world. I think you were the one who taught us that. True enough. Your unyielding spirit gives me the strength to go on. Sometimes when Melia smiles, I see sadness in her eyes, as if she's all alone in the world. Well, better start making the rounds. We've got to stop by Colony 9, the city, and... Agnes Castle, right? Safe journey to you all.
A diplomatic mission. Surely we can find a peaceful resolution. Nia, this is a surprise. Don't worry, I know the whole story. Oh, bloody hell! <clears throat> I see you are in good company. They're kindly serving as my bodyguard. They're assisting me with a number of other matters, too. The assistance goes both ways, actually. We all want big, happy family! Yes, that's right. Family. Indubitably. I have a rough grasp of our present predicament. You've come to hear their side of the story, have you not? You make it sound as if these are no ordinary Agnians. With Queen Malia's assistance, we have been closely monitoring them on both sides. I'll get to the point. These people belong neither to Keves nor Agnes. To be precise, they were formerly Agnian soldiers, but now they claim to have lost their faith even in Agnes. This intense distrust of the future has driven them to wanton destruction. So they stopped believing in anything, and now they just want to ruin things for everyone. That's awful. The Keves and Agnes of today are founded upon mutual trust and respect. At least that is the mood we try to foster. But the reality is that not all of us can readily accept these changes. The recent outburst was just an act of passion. But if like-minded people were to congregate... They may gain enough momentum to pose a legitimate threat, is that it? So they're the ones who have incited the latest uproar, I take it. We might have to prepare for the worst-case scenario. Minana bite. What make worst case so bad? He means there could be an attack on the Queen's life. <laughs> that was the worst case! That's one of the reasons. But we simply can't afford to leave this be. I don't believe they truly want to oppose us. Rather, they feel they are at an impasse. One cannot so easily change their way of life or how they view the world. Perhaps I ought to assert my authority as queen after all, and... No. If you lock horns with them now, it's very possible they will shut you out completely. I would rather have you prepare to welcome them in with open arms. That's incredibly kind of you. So, where do we find these troublemakers? It seems they're lying low at Hovering Reef 6. Seriously? That's right next to the castle. Presumably, they approached under the guise of their fellow Agnian soldiers. The castle isn't on particularly high alert, so it makes sense that they wouldn't arouse too much suspicion. Yes, as sad as it is, I hear they're pooling their forces. You'd best be on your guard. Fear not. I am no stranger to battle. And besides, look at my entourage. You shouldn't have to get used to this. Experience can make a person stronger, it's true, but it can't take away one's pain. That goes for queens, too, you know. The moods turn dark all of a sudden. I'm aware of that. Thank you, Nia. Take care, you guys. Huh! Would you believe it? Find.
Something so valuable here. Mm -hmm. Time for a climb. Agnian auto levs. They've hauled those things out here. Can't catch a break, can we? As Lady Nia informed us, we should expect them to be hiding in an ambush somewhere on this island. I must remind you that we are only here to negotiate. If possible, I would like to avoid combat. Sure, but what if they're the ones to come at us first? Then suppress them at once. We could even disable their levnesses, so that they have nothing with which to fight back. Hey. I've been meaning to ask for a while now. You really know how to handle yourself in a scrap, don't you? Yes. I'm no stranger to the field of battle. Nor is this the first attempt on my life. What? Even though you're the queen? Precisely because I am the queen. Is it really so strange for nobles to be acquainted with violence? There was even an assassin within my family once. <gasps> I'm sorry. I hope we didn't bring back painful memories for you. Please, it's perfectly fine. Many other things that have shaped me into who I am today. Learning to accept my weaknesses. Understanding each other's differences. Opening one's heart to others. You must have been in some real good company to learn all that. Perhaps, yes. 
Back when I was young and naive, my companions taught me some invaluable lessons. And you took those lessons to heart. That's how you came to be such a magnificent queen. Though times may change, their teachings will never fade. Which is why I still believe. I believe that our last breaths should not be those of despair. I'll take real good care of the bad guys. So even Agnes's elite haven't been able to penetrate this fastness. I must commend Colony 11 for their tremendous achievements. In truth, I feel somewhat intimidated. Just part of the protocol, innit? Look over there. Anybody else feeling curious? Nobody at home? Don't move! Melia. I'll handle this. My name is Melia Antiqua. I wish only to speak with you. Speak with us? 
Rip us to shreds, more like, Queen of Keves. You are the ringleader, are you? State your name. And why should I tell you? The world I once knew is gone. They told us defeating Keves was the only way for us to be saved. It was the right thing to do, the just thing to do, and I believed it. Do you realize how many of my friends died in pursuit of that dream? You think I can just tell them, yeah, sorry guys, you died for nothing? He's lost his core. Maybe we should step in and deal with him. But Melia told us she'd handle this. You ruined it! You joined forces with the Agnian Queen and you drilled these notions into a... You take away our friends, then sully our reasons to live. My friends died that day, but you've killed them all over again. And that's why you've decided to destroy everything. That's right. We don't need a shitty world like this anyway. Is that all? I told you to stay where you are. Melia! Hey! What are you trying to pull? I could ask you the same thing. Why do you hesitate? You could attack me right now. <laughs> Shut up! You have no desire to destroy anything. You are simply trying to get by in a world where nothing makes sense anymore. And that's why I'm here. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That's how it is. That's how you look down at us. Sorry? I know all about you. You queens live longer than any of us could ever dream. You aren't like us, are you? That's how you can just sit on your thrones, toying with our lives like... She is like us. If you hurt her, she feels pain. She bleeds all the same. Mio. That's why she came all this way to hear your story. She wants to know more about you. She wants to share her time with you. What? Yeah, right. Our lives are like the blink of an eye to her ilk. Just because she lives longer, it doesn't mean she's any different from you. We're all here, aren't we? We're all alive. That's enough, Mio. I see now how you feel about all this. Mate, have you been making that speech to the Cavesi officers too? Telling everyone that Melia is different to everyone else. You bet I did. She's so far up herself, it makes me sick. If anyone's warped, distorted here, it's you. Then what am I supposed to do? Who else am I supposed to take my rage out on? Tell me the truth, right now. The pure, unadulterated truth. That, I cannot tell you. The answer lies in you, and you alone. You must have realized by now. There is no weight to the truth of another, if you cannot judge it for yourself. 
If you must have an object of hatred in order to live your life, then let it be me. But promise me that someday you'll live for the things that truly have worth. Just as you and your comrades in arms once did. It's already too late. I can't go back. Not after what I've done. I highly doubt that. You are still breathing, are you not? Are you all right? I told you. I am no stranger to battle. Besides, I could not tolerate simply watching from the sidelines. Melia. Their sadness, frustration, anger. I shall never forget these feelings. Come. Let us proceed to the next location. Something smells exquisite. Over there. Be more gentle, Commander. Don't expect miracles. I'm trying my best to heal you here. Here, let me. Thank you, Miss. That would be great. What? You're. That should suffice. Can you walk? Yeah. I think so. Queen Melia. To what do we owe the honor? What good is a ruler if they cannot send aid to their people in times of need? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Zion. Please, let me have your report. Hey! Hey, look! Isn't that the Queen? What? Like the real deal? Right, back to my post. Excuse me. Origin's attack unfortunately caused a landslide near Alfetto Valley entrance. We've been treating the wounded, and also dispatched a survey team to scan the area. The thing is, we've lost contact with the survey team. The line just went dead. There was a really loud sound earlier on. Could be more rocks. I see. Then we'll take it from here. Uni, how are you doing over there? I've healed up the worst of them. Now they just need a little R&R. &R. Oh, really? I've got to lie down? Come on. If you've got the energy to flap your trap already, you'll be back on your feet in no time. I see I had no cause to worry. How many were on the survey team? Three. One was piloting the Levness. Okay. I've sent the landslide's location to your iris. You can confirm it for yourself. Got it. Uh, if you happen to see an Anita from the survey team, could you... Tell her to give back what she owes. Because I'll be waiting here until she does. I'll be sure to deliver the message. I'm so sorry to have let this come to pass, everyone. This ordeal will be over ere long. You watch yourself too, Your Majesty. Don't want to see you get hurt neither. I hope you find our friends. Always nice to see a new face. Hey, 
Look at that! A survey branch Levness. Quickly. We must rescue them at once. Would you believe it? Hello? Who's... Uh, there? It's all right. We're here to help. Stay still. I'll get that heavy thing off you right this instant. Right. That's her injuries about treated. You're a survivor by nature. Good fortune that we made it in time. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I thought I was a goner. Say, you wouldn't happen to be Anita by any chance? Yeah, I'm Anita. Oh, that's great news. There was a guy in the rescue tent who was really worried about you. He said he wanted you to pay him back or something? I suspect that was merely an excuse. He seemed really rather worried. Very insistent that you make it back. Oh, it's got to be Kurt. We've been in the same unit since first term. He can be a little faint-hearted at times. I'd better go and try to calm him down. Ah. So you've been joined at the hip since childhood. Joined at the... sorry? I mean that you were... inseparable. You've had a special connection throughout your lives. You understand each other's feelings and you lift each other up in times of need. Is what I'm trying to say. Hmm? Your friends are irreplaceable. Be sure to treasure them. Yes, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Does she have someone in mind herself? There's someone out there special to her. But then, she was imprisoned in Origin for so long. Would you believe it? Mm -hmm. Huh. Would you believe it? Ah! His foot's trapped. We'll need to move the rubble very carefully. Using arts would be far too dangerous. In which case... Someone call for heavy lifters? Ah! Yeah, we'll clear this out in no time. You're in safe hands now. Y yes thank you. Hang in there just a little longer. We don't want to overlook anything. Hold on. It's going to be okay. There was a second landslide. Don't mind me. Look for the others. We're well aware. But firstly... <sighs> Do not move from this spot. We're going to check the immediate area. Uh, uh, yes. Of course. Right. I think that's the lot of them accounted for. I wouldn't relax just yet. The landslides have formed a sharp incline, in turn increasing the risk of loose rocks. I hardly need to state this, but the possibility of further landslides remains high. Getting caught in another landslide would be undesirable. We must make some distance, and quickly. Back to Colony 9.
Something smells exquisite. The Queen has returned! <gasps> Welcome back! We're glad to see you safe, Your Majesty! We were at the site of the landslide, but the situation remains precarious. It is vital that we remove the remaining rocks upon the slope in the coming days. You shall have the castle's aid, of course. But your own assistance in this matter would also be most appreciated. Oh, we'd be glad to help. Never want to have to go through this again. But if we hadn't, we'd never have got to meet Queen Melia. I don't regret it, because I learned today that we weren't forsaken. Forsaken? The only time we normally ever get to meet Your Majesty is at the homecoming. We've been through so many bitter times, but we've never known you to help us. Not so directly. You make a valid point. From this moment on, I will endeavor to the best of my ability to allay your fears. Ah, oh, you're too kind, Your Majesty. Then, in the interest of allaying fears, there may be another matter I would like to discuss with you. Oh, yes. Speak up, then. I would like, from this moment on, to let the colony elect their commander, of their own volition. And I don't mean just for appointing a successor after death, or for the purposes of reform. If they make their voices known, then I think I would gladly relinquish my position as commander this second. What? What brought this on? Then... You wish to formally step down? Well, I was always the Consul's favorite plaything. I was a mere pawn, dancing to his whims, enacting his orders. But in coming to terms with our new life, I began to realize the qualities needed in a commander are very different nowadays. Please don't belittle yourself, Zion. You've worked so hard to get where you are. Believe me, I've thought about this long and hard about who really fits the role of a commander. It must be someone we all look up to. Someone with whom we can share our path. Zeon. While I do not object to your logic, Zeon, I hope you realize that our role is in essence naught but a figurehead. What that figurehead represents, however, is something only you can decide. It's down to me. A person is not shaped solely by their birthright or innate qualities. As long as you remain critical of who you are, whether you deserve the position or not has little relevance. This crisis of conscience, you once experienced it as well, Your Majesty. Of course. Everyone has their battles with self-doubt. How else does one grow as a person? If you remain true to yourself, then you have nothing to fear. In this rich tapestry of life, you must find the path that you are willing to weave. I'll give it more thought, then. Very good. I look forward to hearing your answer. Melia must have had her share of hardship to talk about these things in such depth. If she's ever stuck in a rut, I wonder if we'll be able to console her in the same way. Would she even want that? Penny for your thoughts, Noah. No, it's nothing. We should get going. We've got some traveling ahead of us. Your Majesty! Sorry to bother you. I'm sure you're rushed enough as it is. I'm here to discuss the speech you mentioned. Did I come at a bad time? No, not at all. We've been stretching our necks every day, waiting to see if you'd turn up. I too have been anxious to meet you. I'm sorry to have been a source of anguish for you this long. It's all been for today.
don't consider any of it a waste. Now, on to the matter at hand, rallying the troops. With the final battle with Mobius looming before us, we're doing our best to prepare, but we need more than just supplies. A battle to determine the fate of the world is hardly a light topic. Everyone's beside themselves with worry. Some poor souls have completely snapped. We're never gonna last an actual combat at this rate. I don't blame them. No matter how noble our cause, the fighting will cost us lives. We're caught between the future we desire and the present, which is ours to lose. It's a place beset on all sides by fear. You got that right. Especially when there's no guarantee you're going to be coming home. Even a brief address would do. Just as long as you speak to them somehow. I understand. I don't know if I'll be able to get through to them, but I will try. We'll be your guides while in the city. Make sure you don't lose your bearings. That would be most appreciated. While we're here, would it bother you if I took a look around the city itself? Please, be my guest. I think we'd all like that. Maybe we could take her to Centrillo Parade. There's plenty of people around there. No objections from me, but there are some rather, shall we say, ardent followers of the Queen up that way. If they get too insistent, you might need to give them a friendly nudge. Oh, yeah? All right, we'll keep a lookout. Now this is a far cry from the colonies and the castles. Here is a place where people can truly live, make a home. I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw this place. All these different people I'd never seen before. Things of all shapes. I wish I had been there to see your reaction. A shame. I see my mouth hanging open like a lummox. Not worth it. You seem to take it all in your stride. None of this surprises you. It's more that I'm assailed by old memories. Technologies of old are put into practice here. I feel the industry of those times. Huh? Is that really you? Queen Melia? Uh, yes. I do go by that name. I knew it! I knew it from the moment I laid eyes on you. You were something special. Oh, finally caught up. Hey, old man, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Well, thanks for your concern, but I'll decide when and how I'm going to pop my clogs. I've lived my whole life for this day. Heck, you all have, haven't you? Of course we have. You've returned to us at last, my queen. You really are as radiant as they say. Hey, fancy a bite? You should come by my restaurant, sample a few of the local dishes. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your seedy little bistro. She wants something memorable. Oh, say that again, I dare you. If you hate my establishment so much, I'll be more than happy to bar you from it permanently. 
All right, people, don't shove. And stop arguing. We don't want to scare the Queen now. Oh, my days! Crazy! Come on now, this is getting excessive. Oh, leave them. Everyone's been living for this moment. It's always been my dream to see the true Queen come back to us. A lot of us die before we get the chance. Yeah, but now it's actually happening. Before our very eyes. How can we possibly keep calm when a miracle is unfolding? I am so grateful to you all, my people. I would like to express a few words of gratitude, if I may. It is a joy to see real human activity once again. After all these years, I see that you continue to remain strong. Of course we do. Got to protect what we love, right? That's right. I'm not resting these old bones so long as there's life in them. We'll hold out for decades more if we have to. We have our queen. And even Ouroboros stand by her side. With their strength behind us, Mobius won't stand a chance. Looks like that takes care of that. Indeed. Wow. Decades plural. And here we are, happy enough if we can reach one. The way I see it, you are far more incredible. You've achieved so much in so little time. Huh? That's only natural, ain't it? Got to get stuff done in the time you have. No way I could imagine having to fight for 40 or 50 years. Feel so snuffing far away. Uni. By the by, I'm not seeing the story spinner anywhere. Story spinner? He's this old guy who knows more about the city's history than anyone. He's like a walking encyclopedia. Real curious bloke. Normally he'd jump at an opportunity like this. <laughs> well, he's no spring turkin though. If he is, he's missed his chance to meet Her Majesty. He might drop dead from the shock. Heavens. Where might we find this person? I think we should pay him a visit. What, really? I'll bet it'd make his day. But are you sure? I would like to try to meet him, if at all possible. As you wish. It's your call. You'll probably find him at Mitya Lookout. I hear it's one of his favorite spots. A walking encyclopedia, is he? Then we can expect an enlightening conversation. What conversation are you expecting? What's all the fuss? Whose funeral is it this time? Nobody's, I should hope. We were just wondering if... Oh! Old Melly! Well, this... this can't be real, so somebody pinch me. What if... it's actually my funeral? Then that would mean... Places have I ended up? Yeah, uh, this is Mitya Lookout in the city. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm told you have quite the wisdom. I was hoping to ask you a few things, if it doesn't bother you. Oh, I get ya. The Queen herself is asking me personally to tell her a story. <laughs> now I know I'm dreaming. Hey, all the Boris kids, give me a good wallop here, right on the kisser. Sure thing. Have you gone quite mad? Lance? I... I didn't throw my weight into it. Let's all calm down for a second and just talk sensibly, please. Housing speech for the city, eh? <laughs> what a stroke of luck. Even after that battering, I know I'll be content in the afterlife. Oh, don't start. You were the one who asked us to. Well, 
It seems life's worth living a little while longer. <laughs> Don't want to disappoint old Queenie now, do I? Go on, then. Ask away. I've been wondering, when you first saw Melia, I kind of got the impression you knew more about her than you let on. Of course I do. Have you seen the stacks of literature they've got here in the city? Packed to the rafters. And there's passages on the true queen, too. And you betcha these eyes have read them all back to front 20 times over. So you know all about her? <laughs> naturally, naturally. <laughs> here, I'll give you an example. It is a lesson on fact that Her Majesty is squeamish around shiny bugs. What? <gasps> How can you possibly know that? There was also a little morsel about how she found rainbow bugs particularly revolting. They're extinct now, but uh, I reckon the beast is about the size of your fist, whose bodily excretions make them glow and... All right, enough. You don't need to go into such detail. The mere memory gives me goosebumps. <laughs> don't you worry. I've got plenty more tidbits like that up my sleeve. We don't want to hear it. Look, I'll tell you what I want to know. Oh, yeah, well, I'm all ears. When you get to the age you are, after living for so many decades, you must have had to say goodbye to so many of your friends and stuff. Must be a lot of crap to deal with. So, uh, how do you cope? <laughs> the pits is what it is. There are times when I wonder why I don't just curl up and die. But see, life ain't all sunshine and roses. <laughs> I think that's part and parcel of it. So what, you just have to go on living in misery? You've got to be joking. Uni, are you all right? I just want to know what it's all about. Growing old. There's folk out there who get to live so much longer than us, and they still choose to fight. It just feels like I'm always taking a back seat. Like I'm getting left behind. But I want to be there with you guys. Even if it's just in spirit. Uni, I had no idea that was how you felt. Yeah, sorry. Hard to put it into words, really. Even if those you once loved are no longer a part of this world, lonely as it is, and painful though the memories be, it is not wholly a tragic tale. For you can keep close to your heart your memories of those dear to you. And that is something to take pride in. That is what will give you strength. Admittedly, my life took a very different path to the likes of my companions here. Such are my thoughts. Ah, never a true word was spoken. That's one for the ages. Where's my notepad? The fact that you're worrying about us here and now, Uni. I don't think we'll ever forget that. Your feelings will transcend time. I'd have to agree. So don't feel like you need to be doing anything special for us, Uni. It's reassuring enough just being the way you are. I don't suppose you've got any tissues on you. Spark, why'd you have to go and make it all soppy? Nobody is leaving you behind, Uni. If you ever feel distance between you, you need only speak out. Wait, was this all just to tell me that? That's about the size of it. <laughs> Good luck out there, young'uns. Don't just pass it off as your own speech. Uh, say, Melly, uh, would you mind if we shook hands? He's straight up ignoring me! I don't see why not. Oh, you angel. Now I can shuffle off this mortal coil without regrets. Knowledgeable, my ass. Life's a cruel journey from one end to the other. You only get one chance to walk it. But if there's one thing that gives it all meaning, it's love. 
That's very sweet. That ain't something I have to teach you young folks, though. Your friends are lucky fellows. Monica said something like that, too. Still doesn't make much sense to me, though. <laughs> well, love takes many forms. There are as many ways to show it as there are people. I'll remember that. Thanks. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we should probably be getting on. Till we meet again, Story Spinner. Indeed, indeed. Safe travels to you, Your Majesty. I think we've done the rounds here. Let's head back to the castle. Your Majesty! You've returned. I trust it's been quiet in my absence. Yes. I see that you have calmed down. Yes, I have realized. However fervent my loyalty, if I am ever the source of a Highness's anguish, it does no good. You think too deeply, Isil. Tis your mind's fiction. Ah. I will rectify that. <laughs> I am sure you will. How was your trip? And what of the world? Mankind's follies. People never learn. Whatever the passage of fate may bring, we must never lose the spirit of defiance, lest we submit to injustice, as we once did. Again, why does she look so sad? My friends and I, we... we fought hard for all this. We staked our lives on this future. And if there's a chance to keep it that way, I too will be happy to sacrifice myself for this world. Snuff that for a laugh. I hate that. You're the important one here. Pardon? It's true. It's something I noticed before. As befits a queen, you're always thinking about your subjects. But who thinks about what's best for you? Seeing you suffer alone like this, none of us like it. It's too sad to think about. Losing you, that is. You're one of us. Yeah, think about how much you always think of us. It's only fair if you let us do the same for you. Speechless. Melia, you are needed in this world. But you weren't born solely for the world's sake. That may be so. However, I... If you permit me, I'll gladly lend you my strength. Not because you are our queen, but because we're travelers in the here and now. So we should live. Together. I'm glad you're with us, Melia. Fighting alongside you all is the best! Yes. You are right. How funny. Though wisdom is said to come with age, Still, you all seem to teach me so much. If some things elude my grasp, your words show me that there is more, more to life. They guide me when I run astray, again and again. How fortunate I am to have you.
Now that's more like it, girl. Melia, thank you. Thank you for always having believed in us. That's one thing I would never doubt. Now we embark on our quests to create the future. Yes, it's ours. Would you believe it? 